With Ramadan ending, Eid is just around the corner. It is an auspicious festival celebrated with great pomp and big feasts. Eid al-Fitr will begin in the evening which will put an end to Ramadan a month-long period of fasting. Eid is a very auspicious day which is celebrated with all across the world with full enthusiasm. The festival involves big feasts. After a month-long fast of you stuff your stomach with loads of food it will definitely not be healthy for you or your stomach. The festival offers you so many scrumptious delicacies in one place which are hard to avoid. But it is important to avoid certain foods and keep in mind certain things if you do not want to spoil the fun by getting sick. Here are some useful tips to help to stay healthy this Eid. Please subscribe my channel and press bell icon. 1. Minimum salt intake. Keep a check on your salt intake. Too much salt can be dangerous to health, especially to the heart as it raises blood pressure. Avoid eating foods such as salty fish and keep salt intake to a minimum. 2. Maintain sugar levels. We know, sugary treats that we love to eat should not be eaten in great amounts. Generally, on Eid, Muslims begin their day greeting each other by sharing sweets. As much as we love those treats, they should be consumed in a controlled manner. The best way to avoid overeating sweets is by sharing them with other people. 3. Avoid greasy food. After a month of eating at a particular time, the body becomes used to that regime. Consuming too much greasy food could damage the lining of the stomach and it can cause indigestion as well. If you want to eat something greasy that looks delicious, take only small portions that give you the satisfaction. Do not overindulge in eating a lot, which brings us to our next point. 4. Eat a balanced meal. A blend of proteins, carbohydrates and vegetables is necessary for a balanced diet. Your diet should contain fruits, vegetables, bread, cereals, meat, fish, milk and dairy products. Foods such as barley, wheat, oats, millet, beans, lentils etc. are good sources of carbohydrates. 5. Overeating is a big no. Consuming food in large quantities could lead to a number of health problems. When you fail to keep a check on your consumption, you end up eating too much which could lead to indigestion and acidity. The lesser the food intake, the lesser would be the chances of suffering from indigestion. 6. Plenty of water. Stay hydrated on this day. After the strict regime of 30 days, the glycogen levels get all messed up. Drinking plenty of water will bring these levels bring back to normal. It will also make you feel fresh and energetic throughout the day and you will be able to enjoy with your family to the fullest. Enjoy this festival to its fullest with your loved ones and hope you have the best time. Treat yourself with the delicacies but keep in mind the aforementioned tips to stay healthy this Eid. 7. As we know, the stomach is prepared to be empty during the first hours of the morning in Ramadan. So it's advised to eat an odd number of dates, according to the Sunnah of the Prophet before going to the Eid prayer. This will help stomach for adaptation of the new situation after Ramadan and will enhance secretion of digestive enzymes, which will be very helpful and effective in avoiding digestive problems. 8. Making cakes and biscuits in Eid al-Fitr is a traditional habit related to Eid al-Fitr. These delicious candy are high caloric and contain excessive amount of fat and sugar, so you should avoid overeating to be a way of git problems which is caused mainly in the first days after Ramadan due to overconsumption or maluse of this type of food. 9. Nutrition experts advise that the digestive system should be given sufficient time to return to its pre-Ramadan state. So in the first days after Ramadan, we should avoid fatty foods and eat smooth light ones. 10. We should drink plenty amount of water and eat sufficient quantities of fresh fruits and vegetables to prepare the digestive system to return as previously. 11. God has ruled fasting as it includes several benefits to the human being and their health, so we suggest following the principles of fasting even without fasting, which means that you can eat any food you want but without overconsumption. Thanks for watching.